Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. This is uh, pick your team number four, which is the second half of this case. I think I marked these four. There it is right there. So all, the, all of those are marked four. And at the end of the break, at the end of the break, we are giving away $75 of break credit. So if you bought at least three teams, you get one entry, one entry max, and we randomize those names. And the name on top gets 75 bucks of break credit. So we'll do that at the very end of the break. If you bought more than three teams, you probably blocked other people from getting into the promo, which is a smart move because that helps your odds. All right. Um, let's do this. Here we go. So big news of the day here on the Thursday, the 21st. The big news of the day is Argentina losing to Croatia 3-0. That was a huge, I don't know if it was, uh, well, I guess it would be an upset. I don't know, I'm not sure if it was a huge upset per se, but well, maybe losing by three, getting shut out by Croatia, maybe that was somewhat unexpected, especially when you have the talents of, of Lionel Messi and Gonzalo Higuain. And Sergio Aguero and Angel Di Maria. There were so many players on there capable of scoring goals at will. And they just could not break down that Croatian defense. A couple close chances they could, could have converted right at the mouth of goal. That didn't happen either. So Argentina's... Argentina's chances to move in, to move ahead in the World Cup, I think, are severely restricted now, which is crazy. I don't think anyone would have thought that. Although they did struggle to qualify for the World Cup, I think some of you may remember it took took their last until their last qualifying match and some I think late minute Lionel Messi heroics to get them into the World Cup in the first place. But that loss was huge. That that goal difference, I think, is really going to hurt them too. They're not mathematically out of it yet, but it's a very steep climb. I think they have to hope for. I think Iceland is playing Nigeria tomorrow, early in the morning. So I think Argentina's huge hope is that the Nigerians can beat Iceland. And then it's all up in the air. And it's all crazy. But that's what makes the group stages pretty exciting. There's only three matches. Three matches to advance from the group. And then knockout stages. Alright, good luck everybody. Now, not every box has an autograph. Sometimes they're replaced with a really low-numbered card, which will often... Um, sometimes sell better than the autograph it's, that could have been in there. So I'm going to breeze by these cards, which which will ship, but they're not numbered. There is Ivan Rakitic, 52 out of 65, one of the guys that got in the way of Lionel Messi in Argentina. Crazy. All these will ship. These, it'll just be these commons that won't ship, but the refractor version of those definitely will ship. Obviously, inserts like this will ship. And if there are bigger names like this that I see that are just base cards, they have a little bit of value, so I'll ship those out too. Ki Sung Yun for Korea. I think they've struggled to score goals. Oh, uh, the Rakitic goes to Croatia. That'll be for Posey. And the 7 out of 40 will go to Korea. That goes to Nino and the Koreans, who I think are facing Mexico next. Oh, EA saying, just put my Germany jersey on. Pull me some Germans. The Germans for EA. Sergio Guero. Irving Lozano. There's your goal scorer right there that 
help Mexico win that game over Germany. Who has Mexico? Victor Z. Mexico. Chicharito. Big part of that Mexican national team. Red for L3. Another one for Victor. It's out of 149. I think there's an autograph down there. There's Casamero, 11 out of 125 for Brazil. I think they'll, they're playing in a couple days. <laughs> yeah, a couple oppo mojos for EA. He was like, I'm going to take the jersey off now. Um, Brazil, that'll go to Lee. And is that the auto? I think that is the auto. They're usually flipped around. And behind Guillermo Ochoa is Germany. Mario Gotze, put the jersey back on, EA. Signature moments. The 2000, uh, when, when, the last World Cup, 14 World Cup hero. Great goal, too. Definitely a signature moment for him. And then Uruguay's Jose Jimenez. 19 out of 40 for the... Uruguayans. You're welcome, EA. I don't think EA actually intended to purchase that team. He was thinking about it. It was in his cart. And he was buying something else. And then he was like, I'll just let it ride. Got a Godse out of the first box. Sometimes that's how it works, folks. A little bit of unexpected luck. All right, what else happened today? Um, France took care of business. 1-0 over Peru. And I, this was somewhat ex unexpected to me. Denmark drawing 1-1 with Australia. Australia, who played France pretty tough in a losing effort. But they played France tough, and they, I guess, playing Denmark tough, too. They're 1-1. Do they even Do they have a chance? Mm, they I, they could have a chance to advance. They're, they're going to need a little help, but they've got a chance to advance. Say if Denmark loses, they win. Maybe good goal, dif goal, good goal difference. That might do it. So I, I love all the, all the big mathematical possibilities that happen in that th third match. It gets pretty exciting. Uh, let's see, tomorrow's matchups. So today is the 21st. So early on the 22nd, at least early for me, 5 a.m. on the West Coast, 8 a.m. East Coast, we have Brazil and Costa Rica. And then, the, then the middle game at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Nigeria, Iceland. And then the 11 a.m., 2 p.m. game, East Coast, 2 p.m. East Coast, Serbia and Switzerland. That'll be interesting. I think there will be Jason G. I think they're intending to do that to do that set every year. All right, here we go. And then once Group E, F, G, H play their second matches, I think it'll be pretty clear who the. Uh, Group winners and advancers will be 59 out of 199 for Colombia. Juan Guillermo Cuadrado for Colombia. 59 out of 1. I've got to put some respect on his name. Uh, Vic with Colombia. Vic J. There's Sadio Mane, the Liverpool striker who could potentially take Senegal a decent distance. There's Pedro for Spain. These ones aren't numbered either, but they will still ship. Marcelo will ship as well.
There's Harry Kane. England's Harry Kane. Going to need him to keep scoring. Need these guys to do well, too. Deli Ali and Marcus Rashford. And there's Nemanja Matic for Serbia. He'll be playing, uh, he'll be playing tomorrow. 20 out of 20. So I think that's the low-numbered card for this set. So Serbia, that goes to Kip Kip Hooray. You got the camel refracted there, Kip. I think he's on the. I think he's still on the national team. He's a little bit older. He's been around for a little bit. Brian Ruiz for Costa Rica. I think he's still on the team. Costa Rica. That goes to Vic. One forty-seven out of one forty-nine. Mbolo. There's Rakitic and Golovin. We don't see too many of these new eras in that refractor format or that parallel. So that goes to Russia. That'll be for Daniel Patera with the Russians, who might win their group. They do have that home field advantage. People say, well, I think every team that has hosted the World Cup... Oh, we've got an autograph in here, too. Olivier Giroud, is that an autograph? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, but it's a... Uh, it's that parallel, which are not common. For Le Bleu, that goes to Jason L. That's a cool parallel. Short printed. I don't think those are very common. I think in all the breaks that we've done, I've, I've only seen... That's only the second one I've seen. Everyone see his uh, his video? He pulled a Le Antoine Greitzman pulled a LeBron James. They're calling it La Decision, I think. I think that's the decision in Espanol. I don't know what it is in French. It's probably similar. But he plays for Atletico Madrid. And um, he was going to make his decision on where he's going to play. I think his contract was up. And then he made like a big, I think he made like a, a quote-unquote documentary about what, what soccer means to him and all that sort of stuff. And he did all that stuff. And in the end, it was just like, I'm staying with Atletico Madrid. That's basically what it turned out to be. But, I mean, he's a great striker. He's a great player, but he's not quite at the level, you know, of where of where you would think, really? Of, did we really need to see that video? It would be like, I'm trying to think of a comparable. Uh, like an NBA comparable. I don't know. It'd be like, it'd be like Clay Thompson, right? Who's great. Everyone, everyone would want a Clay Thompson on the team. You know, it's like Clay Thompson, who was like, who did like a special, who did a thirty-minute special, and was like the decision. Clay Thompson, where am I gonna go? And you're like, oh, I don't know. If really, Clay Thompson's at that kind of level where he needs his own special. So I think that's what a lot of people thought about Anton Gretzman. <laughs> Jaspi's hobby now. Your one-stop shop for all of your soccer news and soccer breaks. All throughout the World Cup and all year long. All right. So we're almost there. So we've got probably about 20 more minutes to go in this one. And I see eight orders coming in. I don't know what they're for. But that's a good sign because we don't have any other breaks filled up after this one. We can do more soccer. If you want to, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, we got American football. we got baseball, basketball. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this one going. Good luck. 
There's Olivier Giroud. This one is serial numbered. This will be for Le Bleu. That goes to Jason L. It's numbered out of 65. Courtois, Carvalho. How many autos per case in this set? I've heard someone say that there's at least seven. So it's a 12-box case, and there's seven per case. And the other ones are low-numbered parallels. And behind Alex, Axel Witzel is... Nice. Champions Refractor for Germany. Deutschland for EA. I don't think these are pretty short printed, too. Hugo Loris. Suki Honda. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. Very nice. There's Sadio Mane. Messi, Ronaldo. Non scorers club. Too soon? Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That is for Daniel Patera. This parallel alone, Daniel, 124 out of 149, could cover a number of spots in the break, especially with his performance in the World Cup. He may win Golden Boot with that uh, with the hat trick, and then another goal the other day. And if they advance a few more goals here and there, that might do it. That might be Golden Boot for him. We'll save one of these Messies for Argentina, and that goes to Jason L. And we've got Briel Mbolo, 2 out of 10. So this would replace the autograph, this low number right here. And that is for the Swiss, Switzerland, Daniel Patera. Swiss, the Swiss has looked, looked all right thus far in the World Cup. All right, three boxes to go, so about another 15 minutes or so to go. Yeah, Laurel's saying that the odds are good for Portugal. I don't know. It's not, it's not over yet, though, folks. I don't think any group is really spoken for yet, except for Russia and Uruguay are definitely advancing. We're going to figure out who is who's going to advance as the winner from that group. Group B is still kind of tight. Spain, Portugal, and Iran has three points as well. So that, that's going to come down to the last match. I think Australia still have, kind of has an outside mathematical chance. And it looks like Croatia is going to win that group, but Iceland or Argentina advancing, that's going to be it's going to be the big deal as well. I mean, Iceland, if they win their next match, they could have a chance to win the group too. A lot can change, folks. That's what makes the World Cup so exciting. Yeah, Argentina, man, Ar Argentina still has a, a mathematical shot, but that goal difference is really going to hurt them. That minus three goal difference, that's not going to be good. Because let's say Iceland wins match two, 
gets four points. Argentina wins match three, gets four points. And so they're, if they're dead even on points, let's say I Iceland loses their third match and they're tied at four points, that goal difference might not do Argentina any favors. A lot of permutations. A lot of, lot of different things that could happen. A lot of different scenarios. And then we'll see soon, I think in the next few days, we'll see how the group E, F, G, H scenarios pan out. And then we start to see who's moving on in the brackets, who's going to face who. And we'll start discussing all those knockout stages too, ladies and gentlemen, as we break more soccer. NT Soccer coming out tomorrow, so check back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for pre-orders. There's Mo Salah, Mohamed Salah, and Chicharito for Mexico. Victor Z. Out of 125. And then there's Mohamed Salah for my for my Liverpool football club. That's for Egypt. Kip Kip Hooray with that. Who is worse, Liverpool's keeper or Argentina's? That's an easy answer, Liverpool. Easy answer. There's Aaron Gunnarsson. Out of 125 for Iceland, that'll be for Peter Graham. There's Johan Berg Gudmundsson for Iceland. Peter Graham. 79 out of 125. You're that Germany-Sweden Germany matchup should be good. Yeah, Germans definitely need to, need to get back on track. They're going to win the group. They shouldn't they shouldn't have any problems advancing. There's Neymar. What's going on with his foot? What's the latest? I don't know. They say he's fine. Allegedly. Lee with Brazil. 003 out of 199 for Brazil's number 10. Jerome Boateng, Kostic, Gilfi, Sigurdsson, and Genki Haraguchi for Japan. Daniel Patero with the red parallel. That is out of 149. Autograph or low number parallel? Where are you? It's Harry Kane. We'll save that. Hmm. I guess we got a below average box. I don't think anything else was actually numbered. Unless I missed it. Sorry, guys. Some nice parallels, though. Maybe that Neymar could be the could be the hit of the box. All right. Well, moving on.
Two boxes left. Good luck, everybody. Bill Mosher saying if Brazil loses in the morning, there will be chaos. I, I can't see Brazil losing, right? I mean, nothing nothing's a lock. But here, where's where is that schedule again? There it is. Brazil, Costa Rica. And if Brazil loses to Costa Rica, I think the the entire continent of South America may melt down. If you have assets and holdings in South America, I would I would pull out if Brazil is on the verge of, of losing. I guess we could look at, uh, no, I guess since we're talking about it, we can look at the odds. So according to Bovada, Bovada has Brazil to win minus 475. And you're like, oh, okay, that's, that sounds good. That's not too bad, right? I mean, I don't think there's value there, but um, to draw plus 525. And you're like, okay, you could, you could potentially see a little bit of value there. But what about Costa Rica to win? Plus 1,500. Plus 1,500. Not very, not very good odds there. Plus one thousand five hundred. I think an interesting score line, uh, interesting wager on this, this is for entertainment purposes only. We like to, we like to goof around with this sort of stuff. Um, the the goal line, plus one and a half goals for Costa Rica at plus one ten. I think might be a little bit better value if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, Nigeria, Iceland, Nigeria plus 185 to win straight up. Iceland plus ones or plus 185 straight up for Nigeria, plus 175 straight up for Iceland, plus 210 to draw. And there's the spread is just pick them. I don't know, not too much value there. Maybe you go with Iceland. And then Serbia, Switzerland for the Friday matchups, plus 170 for Serbia to win straight up, plus 190 for Switzerland, and plus 195 on the draw. Also pickums for the goal lines as well. Uh, Christian uh, Gamboa for Costa Rica. And, and speaking of Costa Rica, Bill Mosher is saying, I would bet my life savings on Costa Rica 2-1. Are you calling your shot, Bill? I think Bovada will also give you score odds if you predict the correct score. That's 100 out of 199 for Costa Rica. That goes to Vic J. 2-1 to Costa Rica is plus 5,000. Life savings plus 5,000. That's pretty good. Ooh, nice Mohamed Salah, green crystal. Cracked ice, whatever you want to call it. It's nice. Kip, kip, hooray with that Mo Salah. Hopefully he can repeat his great season this year. Hopefully he repeats that next year. Four out of 25. He's going to have a lot more help at Liverpool. They're adding adding to their to their club. That's a good one. That That should replace the auto right there. Keller Navas for Costa Rica. Ooh, another Costa Rican. Is Bill right? Bill's just saying it just feels like an odd tournament. He feels like the final will be somewhat predictable, but he feels like the teams that end up in the knockout stage, the round of 16, 
may not be as chalk as we think. It may not be as chalky as we think. I could buy that. I don't know if I'd put life savings on Costa Rica 2-1 at plus 5,000. Seems a little risky. For Serbia, Mitrovic. Scorers club. Well, I have already seen some surprises, though. You are right. Mexico 1-0 over Germany. You know, Argentina losing. That's a big surprise. Brazil drawing to Switz uh, Switzerland, I think, 1-1. Oh, this is nice. Kevin De Bruyne for EJ and Belgium. Very nice. These uh, national landmark cards are few and far between and numbered at 16 out of 25. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes for like 100 bucks. No no fooling. I would not be surprised. If not, and maybe I'm, I'm under on that. It's a nice player, one of one of the uh, one of the sexy picks to win the whole thing. Plays for uh, Man City, I think. That's a big club. So that could be that could be a pretty big hit, EJ. Now, what happened with the coach of Argentina, Bill? He's going to have to go back to his day job as the driver of fake taxi. What is fake taxi? Um, unless, unless, he, unless he pulls it off. EA, in case you were wondering, Eric, on Saturday, the Germany-Sweden game, Germany is minus 125, or minus 225. They're, they're, they're solid favorites to win. Sweden, plus 600 to win straight up, plus 360 to draw. Minus one, Germany on the goal line, the spread, minus 125. And Sweden, plus one. I, plus 105. I'd take Sweden if they were plus one and a half. The, the goal line, that is. Germany to win. Um, oh, no worries, EJ. That was a nice hit. I'm actually going to look up what that... Unless someone does it before I do, I'm going to look that up after this break, see what that value could be on that. Yeah, Messi did not look very happy. Well, I mean, I think he was frustrated the entire match. I think they, the Croatians really shut him down. Nobody could get... A decent shot on goal. Uh, they just looked dejected. And they just looked like there was a lot of pressure on them. You know, that was getting to him. This is Messi's probably last World Cup. At least, you know, playing 90 minutes a match. Probably his last World Cup. So, kind of sad. Kind of crazy. All right. Next one. Joe Cavanaugh saying that, that Kevin De Bruyne, 200, 250 range on that. Wow. Well, still a lot of matches to be played, folks. There could be, there could be random heroes all over the place. Hector Herrera for Mexico. They're going to be playing Korea on Saturday. The Koreans are going to struggle in that one. Mexico, Victor Z. I don't think Korea scored a goal in a World Cup group stage in a minute or two. They've been qualifying. Paul Pogba has like a fun uh, Pogba Diaries, I think, on on Fox. Like their, their World Cup show has Pogba Diaries. It's kind of fun.
Scorers Club, Cristiano Ronaldo. Nice. That goes to Portugal. Yeah, no kidding, right? Eric Jennings saying Messi and Maradona are like complete opposites with the success between club and country. Yeah, Messi just, I mean, that's like the, it's like Kershaw not winning a World Series. To use a baseball metaphor. But regu regular season Messi with his club, Barcelona, you know, he'll do wondrous things. But they just couldn't quite get it together with with the um, national team. Arnor, Ingvi, Trautassen. Wow, what an, what an epic name. <laughs> 82 out of 149 for Iceland. Peter Graham with that one. Gabriel Gomez, Timo Werner, Timo Werner going to EA and Germany. No, you don't see those refractors very often. Maybe we close out with an autograph. I think so. There comes the auto. And it's going to be for France. Wow. Thierry Henry. Le Bleu legend. Thierry Henry for Jason L. And France. Le Bleu. Although the Irish don't like him with good reason. Remember that? Some of you may remember. He may he not welcome in Ireland. But a, a French legend. Um, if you look up his highlights, what a just a prolific striker. A, a score of goals and a score of great goals as well. Some people, some people say, are you a good goal scorer or a scorer of good goals? He was both. A good goal scorer and a scorer of great goals. Good highlights there. All right, folks, that's the second half of the case. Let's see who gets money. Money, 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 money. Money. All right. So... You have to buy at least three. I'm sure you read the item description. Let's sort by column A. I'm sure you read the item description. You have to buy at least three teams to get one entry, one entry max in the promo. Obviously, if you buy more teams, you can block people from getting into the promo. All right, so Daniel Patera got a team or got a spot. David only got one. EA with one. EJ with one. Jason Lawner has an entry in the promo. Josh Xline got three. Kip Kip Hooray got three. Lee did not. Michael got three. Nino got four. I'm sure he blocked someone too. Peter got three. Posey did not. Robert did not. And Vic J with four. That's a kind of a small list. That's only eight people on that list to win 75 bucks of break credit. It's pretty good odds. One out of eight. I'll take that any day of the week for 75 bucks. I'll take that any day of the week. Think about it. When we do like an all spot solo promo and we only give away like 25 bucks to like the top four people or something like that, that's usually like 300 some odd spots. We're talking about $75 for just eight spots. I don't know why that Prism World Cup isn't selling out like hotcakes. All right, good luck to these folks here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list four and a six, 10 times. Name on top will get 75 bucks break credit. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. And then four more times to make 10. Seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, boom, Nino on top right there. 75 bucks of break credit coming your way in fact i'll i'll send it right now after i do after i go through some orders in fact nino since he likes the soccer so much allow me to give you my two cents on how how you should spend your money get into that prison world cup again get three more teams see if you can get break credit with break credit 
right? This goes for everybody who wins break credit. That's a good strategy. Jaspie's Hobbyland.com. We've got more soccer in the store. Check it out, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.